the product of fellowship the product of fellowship in other words what do you stand to gain your communion with the holy spirit the intercourse the intimacy that happens between you and the holy spirit is meant to produce something in your life and let me help you by scripture define those things number one the first product of your fellowship with the holy spirit is what i call revelation knowledge revelation knowledge well what is revelation knowledge revelation knowledge is a thorough understanding of the patterns a thorough understanding of the patterns allocated for the specific spiritual outcomes revelation knowledge is a thorough understanding of the patterns of god of the patterns of god or of the patterns of the spirit that is allocated for the specific spiritual outcomes in other words the realm of a spirit is a realm of realities everything that you have been called to enjoy or experience in god is spiritual revelation knowledge gives you access to the patterns because listen to me brothers and sisters our god is a god of patterns even when building a house there is a pattern for building that house it is called the model it is the model for the building that is created first before the building because it is the model that defines the specifications of the building revelation knowledge gives you access to the patterns is it favor that you are going to enjoy is it the grace of god is it the power of the spirit of god is it accessing the wisdom of god that the bible says is hidden from this age every kind of experience in god is summed up together and locked up in mysteries that are called patterns revelation knowledge gives you access to it Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, instead of me to faint or become depressed, the Bible says, I will fear no evil. Why? For thou art with me. It's a knowledge that has been revealed. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. So every time adversity rises around that man, you see him begin to dance and praise God. And you think he's a fool. No. He has realized by revelation that it is in midst of adversity that God prepares a table of plenty. So there is plenty in scarcity. There is abundance in adversity. He said, when men say there is a casting down, you shall say, exaltation has come. Why? Because of your access to revelation knowledge, which comes to you through fellowship. Number two, the product of fellowship, righteousness, and holiness righteousness and holiness in romans chapter 1 verse 3 the bible calls the holy spirit the spirit of holiness in fact that's why he's called holy spirit romans 1 verse 3 he says and was declared to be the son of god with power as by the spirit of holiness he is the spirit of god that imputes the gift of righteousness in every believer Ephesians chapter 5 from verse 8 to 9 is the spirit of God that imputes the gift of righteousness and when he imputes that gift and nature of righteousness in you living right becomes a natural thing we need him in these last days you need him to conquer your world you need him to influence the happenings of things around you you need him as a testament in your life to the reality of God so that men will see and know some of you came tonight because you love God but your life has not been rich in this experience that I speak of some of you came tonight because you want to know the Holy Spirit you don't know why your life seems to be empty or there seems to be a vacuum the answer to your question 
is captured in the fellowship that exists with the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit is at work in your life, the peace of God becomes your natural atmosphere. Not only do you walk in that peace, but it, it, it influences everything around you. The Bible says the kingdom of God is in righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. I need thee, oh, I need thee. Every hour I need thee, oh, bless me now, my Savior. I 